Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues A Disease in which we're playing as Deadline. Well, who's Deadline? What is Deadline? Well, it's Nebraska. And we're led by the Warrior. To, surface, to the surface, it appears that dead, the Deadline is a disorganized hive of rot. However, deep below in its tunnel, something even greater lies. Something more powerful than even the Warrior, our leader. Whatever it is, it seems that the nightmares are just beginning. So, good old Nebraska, we've got some sort of infestation here, but we're rooted. The putrid tunnels of the Deadline act as a barrier to the outside world. While the afflicted move freely along its chambers, no human has ever returned. And by psychic influence, the afflicted show no sign of free will except for the controllers. The deadline functions as a hive mind, a form of collective consciousness. The source of this consciousness is unknown, and we're monsters. So we're going to lose weekly stability, but look at weekly war support. The deadline, with the deadline populated only by the beasts from the tunnels, they're not populated with their neighbors. Um, they get more piercing though. And then we have uh, conversion, the sickness emanating from the deadline, turns some into the afflicted through exposure. The closer to the deadline, there more is a risk of conversion. And we're vault dwellers, and we've got mean guys. Uh, but we do a generic focus tree for raider focus tree. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, no guarantees for anything. But we're going to go to war with Site Y. Ill fated expedition. Uh, making do. Plague, misery, and death. Oh, wow. Vice City, wealthy. It'd be interesting what the devs really have in store for uh, Nebraska. But let's see what we can do here. Maybe it'll be good, maybe it won't be good. Uh, they have divisions here and there. Uh, hopefully we don't get completely overwhelmed. They do have power armor. Not ideal. But now they're all stuck in one place. So, um, as with Hoi 4, as long as you just deplete, deplete or delete their organization, um, we're going to lose a lot of guys, but when they lose organization, they're all screwed. Very nice. Now we have a cup of coffee or two. So we're not doing great, obviously. We're a bunch of warriors, hive minds, that are uh, all doing their best. And also, with our technology... We're actually averaging everything, except for a power armor and robotics, which is very usable for us. So, which is fantastic. Ready five armor XP? Love it. 103. Um, I always go with Golden Gecko because I like the political power, the stability. And we're currently going to go with conventional warfare. I mean, and probably asymmetric warfare. Oh, we crushed Omaha. Interesting. So, we can raid stuff, bottle caps. We can begin a scavenging program, which we'll do. Um, we're using Old World Blues, Old World Blues ex uh, tech expansion, as well as for the for the little guys. Maybe not for the little guys, since we are uh, um, we have a generic raider tree, and that is really for civilized tech. So crush Omaha, psychic influence, more organization recovery, and uh, then we have to go to war with these uh, guys over here, uh, Belden, as well as the Order. So actually, these two might as well Let's see what happens, shall we? Good, good, good. Oh, and we still have this here, so I'm just going to go ahead. Do everything unique or special. We have Faithful Henchmen. It's not bad. Uh, slaver. Political power. Uh, nothing super unique here. Um, anything here? Expanding the gang. Stubborn guy. Entrenchment speed. Perhaps more organization. More speed in general. Uh, aggressive assaulter. It's alright. It's not bad. It's not great. Remember Breakthrough, Les Pearsons? This is the guy, yeah. I want that guy, but we're going to go ahead and go with Golden Gecko first. Nice. Got him. And we've got a whole power armor frame, so Sai Wise ours now. Good. And we're not going to have any manpower at all. But what else can you? You know? As we're incorporating slavers, if you want to put that, please go ahead. We're going to get some slave labor next. Oh, the Order Demands Territory. So usually this part of Oregon, Oregon, Nebraska, everyone kills each other here. So we got to be very careful. Um, if things don't go the way we want, well, that's not good for us. Then. Uh, what do we have here? Working on that. Uh, I'm gonna come down here and grab what work is needed. Well, we did well there. We're gonna save. Um, they want all of our territory. Wow. The order. So, they're led by Patriarch, 2 to 4 divisions, 4 to 9 divisions, Judge Isaac Hotham, or Hotham. Ooh, we can't pierce some. Ooh, then they have power armor too, that's not ideal. You are doing alright. And we're led by ghouls. Their divisions are straight up just ghouls. Um, 14 combat with, and I threw on demo teams, or maybe I already had it already. Three conversions are okay. Um, but yeah. 
How much money do we have? Not much. Literally, not even a cap. So they might go to war with us, we'll see. Um, we need to mobilize more. So wait for them to go to war with us. And after Slave Nation, I'll go to Forced Labor, and they'll go to get their research slots, though. Yeah. Slaving Scientists, Encouraging Slavers, a little more manpower would be nice. New leadership would be good for more uh, political power. And I wouldn't mind starting the flow is not bad either. Passive caps income. Paying the boys is good to get. Plus 20% more organization is incredibly strong. I don't want to hurt our organization at all because we don't already have a lot of good stuff going for us. I'm going to go ahead and get anti-tank because, as you can see, we're really going to need that. We're really, really, really going to need that. Uh, more meat. Dam busters, binary counts, fringes. Uh, does this expire? It is not. That's good. No room to spare. We need that population, but it looks like we're going to go ahead and grab military theorists first to start working on our army XP, and then we're going to grab Mr. Raider Recruiter. Yeah, we still have 182, which is not great, but still. I love slave labor. So we can work on that, get a little bit of piercing with uh, the demo teams. It's not very much, though. It's not enough to really pierce power armor yet. And I wouldn't mind grabbing a field marshal for us. Um, so we have Samuel Jones, who's a lone wolf, so we can't promote him. So Epsilon Controller, Null. Receptive and a bloody mess. Nice. Do that. Yep. Welcome aboard, Epsilon. I'd like to train her. Oh. Um, but... Can't quite do that yet. Because they can go to war with us at any time, I think. Yeah. So we go to war with them, that would be good. And these guys are killing each other to the point where we don't have to worry, maybe, about it. Hopefully. Um, I really want to get that anti-tank done as soon as possible because... Ooh. Ah. These guys are going to war with them, too. You know what? We're going to do this anyways. I'll get more weekly war support because our stability is going down. Infantry piercing goes up. Interesting. You know, we're going to save, too. Because these guys are going to kill each other. Because then who are, these guys are going to fight us next, aren't they? Or are they going to go somewhere else? Western War... Uh, they could kill anyone, really. Just fight World War 7 goes down by 50%. Interesting. I mean, could we do anything against them? We could try to? Well, if it doesn't go well, it doesn't go well, you know. Can we even pierce them? No, we can't. At least start the war now, maybe. Uh, I really don't want to fight that power armor. I really don't. Let's just do coordinated attacks. How about that? And then you're gonna get uh, uh yeah, maybe hacker five percent more. It's not five percent is not much, but better than nothing. It's good for army XP too. Oh. Forced labor and enslaving the scientists. There you go. Nice. Because if we can just get down there, that'd be fantastic. As long as they don't have enough experience, that's all that matters, really. <clears throat> or. Are they moving around a whole bunch? Nice. You know what? You're going to hold here. Let's see what we can do and come up with. There you go. Send two more divisions that way. Um, probably not. Good. How about your two? I need that to open up the combat with. Really good way of getting more XP. I love it. We have quite a few divisions here, which is not ideal. Hey, conventional warfare. Good for uh, defense for now. Um, yeah, might be able to slip into there, maybe. Yeah. Which will help reduce the how many divisions they need here. Because really, the main goal is to get to this capital. I think that might be it. Ooh, you can go here, maybe. You guys cut these guys off. 
Cut everyone off in the south. You're not moving. No siree. Work is needed. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, how about there? You're actually doing a lot better than I thought you would. Good. And we got anti-tank rifles. Great. Next thing we need to get is another military factory so we can start making those anti-tank rifles. Uh, I'm going to come over here and get civilized. I want more manpower. Uh-huh. We're actually doing really well with the with what we've got. we got some portable men, maybe. we got some dynamite we can make. We're actually doing all right. And we cut them off down in the south, which is good. Here, you can do this and really encircle the capital. Maybe. Potentially. But you know what? We've got enough money. The men are rifle territories from the fringe. We could in a little bit. Western war. Well, we're not going to be like the AI and just demand things. Just to demand things. We get more organization recovery rate and recruitable population factor. Ooh. Uh, organization relations. I'm not sure why they give us stuff. Oh, we have no opinion. They have no good opinion of us, so we have to wait then. God dang it. Now that's, that's why they don't give us stuff. And, oh, come on. We were so close. There you go. No, you can just do this. Go ahead. And now they're trapped. This has actually worked out really well for us here. Finish off this division fast enough will be good. Um, you know what? Improving the Heartland because it gives us another military factory that we need. Pretty much immediately. Uh, scout kits would be good. I wouldn't mind chemical companies too. Hey, we got rid of one enemy division. And we got rid of another enemy division. No. Absolutely not. And I'll honestly, all that matters is that we can take this tile. Because at this point, they have no more capital victory points. Ah. Oh, what's this? Undesirable. Well, let's not do that yet. That gives us more attack, which is great, but it hurts our organization, which I don't like. Um, more compliance, you know what? We'll get used that the entire time. I think that'd be pretty darn good. And would you look at the last two remaining divisions from the. Well, I guess it's technically from the order, actually. Um, they've got one division, at least one division. Moving up north, hopefully we can destroy these divisions before too long. Um, song from the front. Uh, you know what? We'll get we're equally worse, but anyways, let's, let's grab that political power. That seems like the best uh, bet. Oh, dang it. They actually got it there. Oh. Well, that's not good. It's a good thing they actually fight in the fringe. That's actually really lucky for us. Uh, for the most part. Uh, we're going to throw you right here, and then, uh, yeah, you're going to... You can help us out, Samuel Jones. Actually, you know what? Samuel Jones is not going to lead that because he's going to lead the special forces later on. Uh, Commando, Hoarder, Intelligent. Sounds good to me. He looks Sherman. You seem a bit unghoulish. But perhaps that is just me. So we should be able to. I should be pushing here. I'll oh, do this too. You might actually be able to encircle this division and kill it off still. At least kill off one of these guys. You're seeming to do okay, because that is core territory. We do get quite a buff to core territory. Um, the men are up with territories. Don't want to do that too much yet. Let's go with uh, basic hygiene. Of course, then again, we don't get any weakness stability, so that was kind of a waste, huh? Wasn't it? Metro help, yes, please. And go down here, too. Keep these guys in place. Go here. Go around them. Good. And that division has eventually been encircled. Very nice. And we're actually doing well. Thank God it's only a military division right there. Now fighting through here is going to be a kind of a pain in the butt. Since there's only one way really in enclosure is nice. We're going to grab this. Uh, better max training times. Ooh, yeah, this is going to be a pain in the butt. They don't look like they're very strong. Mux, mux, they must have uh, forced their divisions out and deploy them early. Oh, look at this. Very nice. Um, you're going to be inspirational because we love inspirational ghouls here. But we gotta make sure that Fallen Cube does not win too fast, or the Fringe wins too fast, since we're not. Oh, never mind. Because now we're ready for them. They're in the middle of their war. Um, you know, we'll come back to you later. There you go. Actually, you know what? Let's even it out. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, Fringe. Do you mind giving us our territories? Because we are rapidly trying to get to where we need to be. And they got a couple days, and let's see what happens. We're actually doing much better than what the deadline normally does. Of course, the AI normally leads um, the deadline. But we might be slightly smarter than the AI. Maybe. Uh, war support, political power would be nice. 
Is there anything we need immediately here? Ballistic weaponry research speed goes up. Infantry could be go through, uh, production cost goes down, that's not bad. I wouldn't mind getting more caps. And dope raiders for more of speed? More breakthrough? 2.5%, that's not much. Experience game proving yourself? It's not bad. More population? Let's go with dope raiders. We're doped. We love drugs. They reject our ultimatum. Interesting. We're already at war with uh, Fallen Cute anyway, so... Let's go in and see what we can do. I'm sure uh, that's really bad for these guys. You guys keep these guys in place. I think we'll be fine. Go here first. Cut them off, cut them off, cut them off, cut them off, cut them all off. So what happens when you don't listen to us? You know? That bad things happen. Go figure. Broken bow? Well, I'll just go here first. Let's see what's... Actually, go here. Hey, look, another encirclement. Who would have seen that one coming? Huh. Encirclements, encirclements, encirclements. It follows the apocalypse. We don't really like them, but, you know, all of them come in anyways. They can deal with uh, the pasties up at the north. Or pasties. Pasties as in, like, people. Pasty people. Yummy. Um, you know what? You're both here. You can both do this. It's fine. <clears throat> we have no special forces yet, so let's go with uh, new routines. Why not? Decent amount of manpower. Or a decent amount of political power, I should really say. Not manpower. Military command, chief of the army, expanding the gang. Stubborn guys. We're pretty stubborn, but... Let's move fast. Nice. Nice. Really working on that army XP, too. Surprised these guys haven't capitulated yet. Just a little surprising. Oh, we'll do that one right now. There you go. Nice. Uh, can you do that too? Can do. That's that's quite a few divisions though. Mr. Stranger, you're a local leader. That's how they started. Awareness. Uh, we probably should have done Life Giver instead, but whatever. Old World Blues. That kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Because now we're gonna grab more daily army XP, which will help us out quite immensely. Good, good, not good over here. These guys are encircled once again. Nice, nice, nice. They keep attacking us, which is fine. Um, let's do it. I always like being inspirational. Learning is very important. It's always important. Always important to learn. You never know when it might, it might come in handy. Good. What are the losses like for us? 36. That's not bad. The fringe? 800. Very good. Oh, we are using melee equipment. Oh, I didn't realize that. Doped raiders. We like them doped. Breakthrough would help out. More population would definitely help out. So, I like this one though. More army XP gain. Uh, go with army XP. We're really trying to maximize as much as possible right now. Improvise tools. Nice. And, uh... Yeah, some free immediate manpower, and with the afflicted, we're gonna go put on anti tank for now. I guess we don't need it as much. I mean, they have a little bit of armor with uh, motorcycles, but it's not extremely important. Good. You know, you might just be able to do this fast enough. They're not very strong, but then again, then again, we don't have to be extremely strong to do well here. We're on petty gain conscription raider bands would not be bad. I really don't want to go to there if we. Have don't have to. Slave flogger. Equipment. Equipment. Resource efficiency gain is pretty nice in my opinion. But we are using ballistics. Not ballistics. Uh, melee weaponry. You know what? We're going to go with the smiths. Metalworking is just as much as an art as it is a science. The smiths knew this art well as their organization is built upon a familial lineage. Built for centuries called the Forger Home and their anvil, their altar. Which would be great. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Arcadia, not bad. I would prefer you to go this way, in all honesty. We're doing pretty well so far. Mysterious stranger, we're a bunch of ghouls. It's a ghoul nation. Wusong, very nice, very good. Oh, you're going to get pretty hard around here. But we're doing, honestly, really done well. We're doing well. I'm very pleased with how we're performing right now. Can you go there without any interruptions? Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. And next up we want to get is chems. Yeah, we're actually doing extremely well. Way better than I thought we would. 
Any upgrades for you, sir? Uh, fortune leader, supply consumption. It's not bad. It's not great. Cold personality. We're a melee hacker. Cool attack and defense. Absolutely. We have a light touch, and we know we touch them lightly. Now, Miles can picture these guys. Good. That's how we like to operate, my friends. Everything for us. We've lost 86 versus 900. Why are they? You know what? I'm not going to complain. We're doing extraordinarily well. And they're not. And that's all I can really ask for. That's the 19 Divisions. Chapter Master Anderson. Huh. Well. He's definitely not very good. Fall in order. Ooh. Minus attack and defense, wealthy, followers of the apocalypse, Ta potato farming, battle plans, and this is not even a good land auction. We're using infantry of all things too, pushing in. Uh, it's not really worth it. We'll do it anyways because we have four research slots. It doesn't matter to me. Nice, moving yourself, absolutely. Damn, nice. And then I'm gonna grab this one and grab more po population. I hate that we're losing weekly stability. I really hate that so much. It's not funny. But you give and take. Motorize, motorize. Two and a half percent is not very much. That's fine, whatever. That's going to help us build our hive. Actually, I wouldn't mind this one either. But I want to grab this one. Do we need more water? Uh, honestly, we could use more water. I guess water's pretty scarce in uh, Nebraska. Chems, yes. I love the chems. Chemical companies. Hello. Well, okay, thank God we just finished that. Holy crap, that's not good. Just in case, let's save. Um, can we demand the territory as well? Territory. I guess we could. It might divert them away. Oh god, they got robots. Well, it's a good thing we want to make anti-tank. And it's a good thing they're actually spreading out. We might be able actually to be to encircle them, maybe. Maybe. Get to the scrapyard, perhaps? How many divisions they got? Up to 12. Oh, they're fighting a lot of people, aren't they? Last read out, Crow's Creek. I guess they didn't give us give it to us. The tunnels awaken, huh? All right. Do we have more stability now? Oh, because we're at war. We're in defense. Yeah. Oh, hold on. We don't need you there. Join my friends. Fields of faith, huh? Interesting. Alright then. Hey, these guys are cut off too. Ooh, take the scrapyard. If you can. That port's in the defense, which is. Hey, look at that. Nice. Can we prevent anyone else taking territory? If these guys take territory, that's fine, whatever. I'm not upset about that. Actually, this is probably a bad idea. Since, uh,. These guys will probably want to come kill us too now. Oops. Beep. 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 Yeah, that's probably a terrible idea actually. Because <laughs> that's a giant board and this is also a pretty long board as well. Um, if you can move fast enough, we might be able to get the last readout quick enough. We can go to war with probably both, right? No. Lighting rates are good. Get more population. Can I go to Willowcup Army? Maybe in a little bit. Let's go. We're not looking great. They're not looking great. That's barely going to help out with anything, really, in all honesty. Um, we're going to come down here. We're going to start grabbing some research speed, political power, and compliance boost, maybe. So if we were to do this, 
What did we do? Well, can we demand tribute or anything like that? Tunnels of Awaken? No? Alright. Do they attack us? No. Well, is there any place for an encirclement? Perhaps. Raider, division attack. I like the breakthrough. I don't like hurting ourselves. I only want. We're going to be a punishing raider just because I don't like punishing ourselves. I don't like that at all. If we're going to circle three divisions, that'd be awesome. Bridge, Bridgeport Monastery. I thought I meant Bridgeport M Mariposa. Not quite. Not quite. Actually, you should be at a giant defensive line here. Healing powder is good. Um, better support equipment would be nice. Just gonna throw that on there. We can throw on some more ghoul infantry. Oh, we're definitely gonna be out of manpower now. But it doesn't make it a little stronger. Okay, so they're stacking up. They're beefing up. A bunch of beefers. And if they want to attack us, I'm actually okay with that for now. And if someone else wants to kill us. Probably. Well, as long as we can get at least one division destroyed, that'll help out. <clears throat> the longer we wait to attack them, though, uh, the more strength their divisions will have, which is not ideal. And go and just delete them. <clears throat> Excuse me. So these divisions move around a little bit first. See where they go. Mm, not too many different locations are. Right, you can take care of them. Very nice, very nice. I uh, love gender equality. Ooh, more attack. We recruit them young. Oh, you know we like them young on this channel. Alright, so I'm hanging out. Okay. <coughs> oh, man. My voice. Oh, oh. One division. Uh, you move up here first. We're just missing probably guns, right? Got tons of melee equipment. Any tank, not ideal. Can you guys do something like that? And have you guys go to the last readout, maybe? Uh, they are attacking us, that's not bad. More political power, what if we use that for? Probably going to every man for the war machine? Or close to that? Or our war economy law? No. No. You will not move, you will die. Do that, do that, do that. Put them in here. Help them out. And then you're actually going to come back and do that. It really helps distract them. Political power, sure, why not? <clears throat> I want you to move down here now. I'd rather do this tile first. I want you to hold. You're doing the same thing. Good. Okay, you can come back. Destroy them. There you go. Very nice. Get to where you need. Let's go in there. And go in. See what you can do. See what you can be cooking up. And now they cut off. This is great. These guys are cut off from the capital, but it doesn't really mean very much currently. Local workspaces would be good too. Oh, I'm out of coffee. Darn it. Now I'm sad. A lot of political power. You know what? Screw it. Ready to conscripts. And then I'm gonna grab you, power broker. Yeah, probably. We're gonna missing stability anyways. So Might as well grab more political power. Kind of sucks, but whatever. <clears throat> now we get way more of that. And start working specialized divisions, specialized uh, razors. Yes, please. Taking what we need. Yes. And uh, we're gonna be recruiting them young. The way we like them. Mm, go ahead, come on up. We're really working on that infantry here. The bread and butter. Of course, our armies are pretty battered, it looks like. But Nebraska must be ours, you know. 
No excuses if we don't have Nebraska. Look at all that army XP we get. Love it. You know what? We're going to do is help stifle how much we change. Oh, you know, we can do that too, probably. Hey, drugs! Nice, we got them. Not bad. This is going way better than I thought it would. And then we got Crow's Crick. Let's go ahead and uh, train our guys a little bit first. There's no immediate need to do that. To just run in there and kill ourselves. And then we'll take the tunnels taken. And we get a claim for Crow's Creek. Oh, we don't... Oh, we need probably just find them first then, don't we? Yeah. It's only 85 days, that's not bad. And then... For Dramate, Standing Rocks, Marshall Republics, and claim un unlocks territory dispute decisions for what? The Baron's Irish former core territories, as well as Glow's Cradle. And when we click this one, we get minus 50% justify war goals times and AI modifier threat receptivity, which means people really won't like us. And they think we're really going to kill them, which are probably right. Or we're just a bunch of nasty ghouls. And that's the way we like them nasty. Democracy? Well, how about that? Wow, look at that. Oh, God. Real bad. You could probably do this one and be okay still. Good and young. You betcha. Ooh, uh, expanding the garage. We might as well since we need arms uh, factories and workshops. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty bad. That's really bad, actually. How much more training do we need? We don't need that much more training. That'd be good. Nice. Yeah, we're doing really well overall. I'm very pleased with how this has gone so far. Outside our volunteers, outside our auxiliaries, because we got to get that compliance up and then start coring stuff quickly. We should probably also start researching stuff for um, coring, core creation costs, I should really say. Start working on that. Which is over here, civilized tech. Core creation cost is up here? No. That's group of population would be nice. It's a little bit through all of this, so we're going to get more factory output. Many factories? Why not? Building some civvies. Yeah, that's not looking good. And that minus. That's ge it's getting better. Of course, if we make more divisions, it doesn't help out. It doesn't look like they have enough divisions to cover the entire front line. They're missing one here. Huh. From new deployments, from garrison reinforcements. Well, it's getting better. Negative 914. Oh, so now it's getting worse. I just think it's not good either. Um, yeah. Oh, they just made another division. But are they strong divisions? No, they're not. They're just average. You know what? We're going to go in core. Facility ruins. It gives us another, maybe another arms workshop, perhaps. Makes us, gives us a few more resources that we could use. Reduces the amount of manpower we need there. You know, it's all good stuff. Chop shop. Business is booming. Yeah, that'd be pretty good to get, too. No, they get lower terrace. We don't care at this point. A uh, new leadership for political power because we could use it. Let's see what happens. Oh, uh, ghoul v ghoul, huh? So we do this. We're going to win in some areas. We're not going to win everywhere, though. Help them out. Help them out. We're here to help each other. Oh, and they're forcing the defense. That's not good for us. You know what? Really beat the crap out of them. And oh, we actually won here already. Um, all right, then. Mass communication is good. More soft attack would be nice. Not necessary, though. Research speed, starting compliance. You know what? We're all equal in the hive. Let me go this way. Losses, 0 versus 26. Not much. Help them out. we got to get here to the dam pretty quickly, I'd say. Uh, if we can make it some supplements, that'd be even better. Local workspaces are very good to get. One on industry at all times, one on the land option at all times. This is the most important group here. And they've been cut off. Oh, so close. Now they've been cut off. You know, just just go for the cap, the VPs. We get encircled or whatever. Hey, encirclement destroyed. Encirclement kind of destroyed. And we'll go to y Yank, Yank Town? Yank Town? This is where it really matters. Just go in. The faster you destroy them, the faster they die. Hey, look at that. Another encirclement. Who would have seen that one coming? Look at that. Fantastic. 
Oh, would you look at that? My god. We're doing so well here, it's not funny. I'm loving this. It's like McDonald's. Fantastic. Oh, and then you guys go. Just expand out. Come on. Go. You can't stop the hive and the warrior. Fantastic. We've deleted every single division, all except for one. I love it. New leadership. Um, well, we are a ruler class, so we're going to stick with the ruler, with the big boss. The boss. Uh, that being said, do we have anything here that would be unique, doped, and happy? Psycho, Jeff, buff out, and a whole lot of people to shoot and steal from. Where the heck do I sign up? Absolute rule. Guerrilla warfare. Uh, night training sounds like fun. That seems like something we would want. Let the enemy where it hurts the most and they least expect it. Let the sunset and don the dark clothing. Yeah, we'll have night training for this one. And then this one, I want to set the world on fire. Underground. Ooh, this makes sense for us. Underground dwellers. It doesn't help us at all. Like, this literally helps us nothing. Completely not at all. Um, I want to do this one, but this one makes the most sense. Humanoid abominations emerge from below and destroy anything they find. No one escapes the belly of the deadline alive. See, it literally has our name in there. So we have to do that one, even if it doesn't make any sense for us. We're expanding our hive as much as we can. Look at that pee pee. I love it. You know what? We're going to do that anyways because we can. Uh, how about settlements? Yeah, it's work for us. It's good, we'll do all these. Oopsie. I didn't click on that. Good. Uh, there's nothing that these humans or even ghouls can stop us. Look at that. They're dying. We're freaking Nebraska in the first episode. This is awesome. The tunnel's awakened. Ooh. Oh, yes. 180 days. That's going to take a long, long time. But so we got time to core, raise compliance, um, distill some stuff. Work on our core creation costs eventually. Um, we might go to War of the Glow's Cradle first. We'll see, because they're probably be the most difficult. We could go to Casper after that and take him out and get a trade note. So I think that's what we'll probably do in the next episode. So if you enjoyed the first episode of us playing as the good old deadline, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. I'll see you tomorrow, as we won't go to Des Moines or Minneapolis, but continue expanding out of Nebraska or the Plaguelands. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.